so this is second lecture on acquired immunity we will be just, just discussing about the types of acquired immunity last lecture we have discussed the mechanism of action of acquired immunity and uh, in that we have discussed what is the humoral immunity that is the anti body mediated immunity and what is the cellular or cell mediated immunity that is also called as the t cell mediated immunity so uh, we have seen what is the mechanism of action in this lecture we will see what are the different types of acquired immunity once again we will just uh, revise the definition of the acquired immunity acquired immunity is our body is adapting an immune response because of the exposure of any type of the diseased organism is called as the acquired immunity acquired immunity is also called as the adaptive immunity because we adapt it in our life so on the basis of the way of exposure of the microorganism it is classified as active immunity and the passive immunity active immunity is further classified as the natural immunity and artificial immunity same way the passive immunity is also classified as the natural and artificial we we'll discuss the types in detail active acquired immunity see here term active means it is occurring very fast is not like that active means your immune system is taking active part in building it understood so in this in <coughs> type of immunity when body is exposed to any type of antigen or you can say the micro the active immunity host will produce its own antibody okay because mechanism we know very well what is the mechanism of action of acquired immunity the mechanism of action is that it can either produce the humoral uh, way mechanism or the cell mediated so in case of active acquired immunity host is exposed to the microorganism or any type of the disease causing foreign invader that time the host will respond in two ways the first way is it will produce its own antibody and the second way it is going to initiate the cell mediated immune response so that time the active immunity can persist for long time in the host up to many years why because host is involved and when we were discussing about the mechanism of action we have seen when the antibody is antibody is produced they are making the b plasma memory cell plasma cell as well as the memory cell so the memory of this particular active immunity remains for a longer time but uh, you might have seen that when we are getting infection when we are recovering from it we are getting again and again you might have heard that some people are highly vulnerable to typhoids right you might have seen so why it is happening how come this same organism a microorganism is harming the person again and again and why that particular person is falling sick again and again the reason behind that is that these antigens have many variants and this immunity that means the acquired immunity is very very specific it do not recognize the change form of the antigen if same antigen will come definitely it cannot produce the disease condition in the human if it changes its form so influenza is there then other uh, diphtheria is there dysent bacillary dysentery is there so this infection can reoccur so on the basis of uh, active means uh, way active immunity is produced it has two sub categories first is the natural active acquired immunity and second is the artificial acquired immunity natural means uh, naturally we are getting the immune immunity in our body naturally means if a person is falling sick 
and getting recovered from the infection. So that time the person become immune and as well as it will have the immune memory for years. You might have seen that the people, those who are getting uh, smallpox, measles, mums in their childhood, they are getting lifelong immunity against it because this particular viruses do not have other variants. So once their memory uh, cells are built up, so thereafter they will not get any type of disease. Artificial acquired immunity. Artificially we are entering. We are exposing the uh, clinical uh, infectious molecule in the body. Now, artificially when we are doing, so we can change the uh, virulent of that particular microorganism and that method is called as the vaccination. You might have seen if you have children in your home that we are dosing uh, the small children with the vaccines. The reason behind that, this vaccines produce the uh, long-term immunity. Now you might be thinking that when they don't have exposure, why we are exposing? Because in the case of the vaccine, that virulence of that particular antigen has been reduced. So on the basis of that, the vaccines are divided in various categories. Vaccines are life or the dead infectious disease microorganism, or it can be the injection of their products. So their virulence has been reduced. So their virulence will help to build the antibody response or humoral mechanism of immunity, but it will not excuse me, it will not allow disease to occur. Because of the vaccination, we have controlled many diseases like polio, diphtheria, tetanus, measles, mumps, chickenpox, hepatitis A and B or many other diseases are there. We have totally overcome uh, with their infection and their occurrence because of the vaccines. Now, how does this vaccine work? Vaccine works with the body natural mechanism by causing body to produce antibodies against the microorganism. Now here what we are doing, we are making use of the attenuated form of the vaccine. The term attenuated means they are uh, just locked, their life, they are neither life nor death. They are attenuated, they, their infection has been mild. Sometimes we are using the killed vaccine also. Although the microorganism has been killed, but it is uh, having the antigenic part on it. So if it is killed, it cannot cause disease and uh, its body contain the antigenic part. So that antigenic part will help to uh, produce the immune response. Which type of immune response will be produced here? the antibody will produce. So our body will recognize and destroy whatever foreign proteins are there. So once when the immune system is engaged in producing or destroying the antigen, it will form the long lasting memory. And in turns, we are getting the resistance against that particular disease. So if one is vaccinated for several diseases, so automatically we get the natural acquired immunity of other diseases also. Why this is happening? Sometimes it happens that uh, we are taking vaccine for one particular thing. Okay, one particular disease. So our body learns how to build up the antibody for that type of antigen. Most of the bacteria or they have the same type of the outcome. So outer pore sometimes matches also. Example, when we see all uh, the, most of the bacteria, they have the glycoprotein, okay, on their plasma membrane. So we have, our body has understood this glycoprotein bounded organism is harmful for the body. So body remains alert. If something like this is coming in the body, we have to kill that. Understood? So this way, the vaccines are very helpful
to uh, remove particular microorganism not only this it builds the life long memory so acquired immunity active immunity we have seen that the active immunity when our immune system is engaged in building up the immune response and this not only builds up the immune response but also produce the resistance this resistance remains in the host body for lifetime now this resistance is nothing but your antigen uh, sorry antibody mediated immune response or t cell mediated immune response so forever it remains when still your last breath you will be immune for that particular disease that's why once in your childhood you might have got measles mumps chicken pox small pox something something but thereafter you never get that disease so what it means never you are exposed to such type of antigen these are the uh, social communicable diseases right you might have seen that people around you the children especially you might have seen they are getting all this disease but you are in, not getting infected what is the reason behind it because you are immune you have gone through with that disease and your body has already built up the mechanism to fight against it now we will be talking about the passive now passive is fast acting and active is small acting uh, sorry slow acting slow acting means it is going to take a long time to produce the humoral immune response passive in terms of action is fast why because in passive this active and passive is involvement of immune system is depend not their action when we talk about the action passive acts very fast so immediate response you can see example now same with the passive acquired immunity is also categorized as naturally acquired passive immunity or artificially acquired passive immunity so when we talk about naturally that means the source of getting immunization is a natural source example the uh, fetus which is present in mother's placenta so this placenta allows igg to transfer from it and this igg helps the developing fetus to good, to not get any type of the diseases same way when the uh, mother is feeding to the child by her own milk so um, we have seen that most of our bodily secretion have the iga antibodies iga is a, is also called as the secreting antibodies because it is present in most of the secretion so this iga antibody is transferred from mother's milk to the baby and this iga will take care of any infection in the infants okay so here uh, the host immune response is not at all involved okay it's getting the ready made antibody now artificially acquired immunity so artificially means the natural source is not involved we are taking the antibiotics from the other organism so these are the ready made things when you will find that if a person is sick taking the antibodies getting immediate response right same way it will not happen when our body involves our body take a long time sometimes it is taking 21 days completely to build up the antibodies so this way the active immune response is a slow type but immune system is involved that's why it is called as the active acquired immunity and in the case of the passive acquired immunity body immune system is not at all uh, involved one more example in naturally acquired passive immunity we can uh, take is the plasma therapy here uh, you might have seen uh, sub read into the newspaper also 
that the people those who have totally overcome from the corona uh, disease so their plasma is removed and given to the patient and this plasma therapy is also a type of the naturally passive acquired immunity that means you are giving the ready made antibody of the recovered patient same way in the case of the blood transfusion if the blood donor is having any type of the antibodies in the blood so that particular time the uh, receiver or the recipient of the blood will automatically get the ready made antibodies but it will not have any type of memory right so it will be short lived into the body that antibodies every antibodies when we will learn the antibodies in the detail you will find that every antibody is having a specific date expiry date so after that this particular antibody get wash off from our body so this is all about the types of acquired immunity as well as the acquired immunity also so in acquired immunity we have learned about the mechanism of action of the acquired immunity we have learned the two mechanism in the lecture 1 and this particular lecture we have seen the types once again we will just revise the type very fast adaptive immunity two types the first type is the naturally uh, acquired and the artificially acquired now i have just changed naturally and artificially why because first we have seen active and passive so naturally acquired we are getting from the natural resources so if it is active body is involved right and body is inducing natu uh, natural antibodies and specialized lymphocyte when we talk about the passive that means body immune system will be uh, not involved here and we are getting from uh, ready made natural source example i had already discussed it is the placenta to fetus igg is transferring or mother milk iga so when we talk about the active naturally acquired immunity it remains for some time few years or to the life long when we talk about the passive so at least for weeks months not more than that when we talk about the artificially artificial source will be there in the case of the active immunity <coughs> we are uh, producing the active immune response by the help of the vaccines so what this vaccines will do it will produce the antibodies or specialized lymphocyte in the body in the case of the passive performed antibodies in the immune serum which are introduced by the infection okay so this is all about the acquired immunity at this note we'll stop next lecture uh, we all will discuss about the cells and the organs of the immune system